We must never forget about Victory Motorcycles, and the best way to not forget about Victory Motorcycles is to take one for a spin. Cue the intro. What's up guys, I'm Sean from SRK Cycles on this blistery cold day, and we're here with a 2008 Victory Kingpin. These are great bikes, even though this is about 10 years, this is nine years before they stopped making them, but Victory said they're gonna continue making parts through the Polaris line to keep these bikes running for the next decade. So as of right now, we have seven or eight more years ago, and then after market companies will start kicking in, you're gonna have no problem getting parts for these bikes. It's a beautiful Kingpin. I like these things. I'm 6'2". I feel very comfortable on it. I like the style of them. From, when, from brand new, they're always designed for a, for a fuel injected engine, you know, where of, you know, intake was not sitting in between the jugs, intake was up front, and a lot of cool little features about it. It's got a fraction of the amount of seals that a Harley Davidson will have, so it's unlikely that your victory is gonna be leaking oil. And there's a lot of good benefits to these bikes. I've met a lot of people that have victories with over 100,000 miles on them. If you probably look in, the, uh, look in the comments below, you're going to see people saying the same thing. Like, oh, I got one with this many miles and this many miles. And they were reliable bikes. They ran really far. Uh, Victory had a lot of money behind them. You might think, oh, Victory, they didn't have, they weren't as big as some other places. Listen, Polaris is huge. Polaris is a huge company and they put a lot of money and a lot of R&D and making a really solid engine and in many ways they were making an engine that solved the problems that a lot of the Harley Davidson engines were having at the time leaking leaking oil and stuff like that now Harley doesn't have those problems anymore but uh, you know a lot of what Victory was making was they're like alright we're making a V-twin because that's American I don't know why but from, for some reason V-twin's American and uh and they were going to solve these. They were going to solve these, you know, these problems. And they made a darn good bike. It's also a great, you know, for people that you want an American-made bike, but you don't necessarily want a Harley Davidson. Victory's a great option. Also, the price points have gotten so have gotten so good that you can get a, a very nice Victory, a very good equipped bike for for you know the price of like a Sportster or something. This year on Generation Kingpin is rocking the 100 cubic inch motor. The way Victory worked is they built one engine, they stuck it in all their bikes. It's a very streamlined way of doing things. It's how Mercedes used to do things. It makes the uh, economies of scale for that engine a whole lot cheaper, and it makes parts for that engine a whole lot more accessible. It's also equipped with a six speed gearbox, which as you'll see later, it's a very precise feeling gearbox, feels very good. Now I think on this specific bike, I don't think, I have not seen the neutral light actually kick on. That might be a switch, that might be the bulb in there. Looks like it's pretty easy to, to pop that off. Uh, what I always liked about the Victories was the shifting. The shifting was very precise. It was very, uh, it was very clear that you just made a shift. It was like a, a hammer hitting an anvil. It felt good. This is a very simple bike. If you had to compare this to something in the Harley lineup, you compare it to like the Softail, except this is gonna have a bigger engine with more power and slightly larger. I think Victory made a beautiful bike. I think the Kingpin is a very beautiful bike. Came in a huge array of different color schemes and combos and, and, and paint jobs. They were making the bikes that people were trying to customize their other bikes to look like, and they were making them directly from the factory. I love these big, giant, Indian-esque swooping fenders. I think it looks really cool. The bike handles well. Let's go take it for a spin. All right, guys, let's do the words of wisdom. Proverbs 6, 16. There are six things with the, which the Lord hates. Yes, seven which are abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that run rapidly towards evil, a false witness who utters lies, and anyone who spreads strife among brothers. Let's take this bike for a spin. Now, a lot of people come up to, uh, to me, and they've been, maybe they're Harley guys, and they're like, what's a, uh, what do you think about Victory? What do you really think about Victories? I think they're great bikes. I don't like the earlier ones. They are the V92, and I wouldn't touch that bike with a 10-foot pole. I just, I've heard too many issues with it. I'm happy that people got those bikes and they rode them, and because that's what really helped Victory. You gotta, you know, that really helped them get launch off, but I would not buy one of those bikes. If someone was like, hey man, I got a really nice 20, or whatever year the V92 came out, I think they're ugly as anything. With super low miles, I'd give them a couple hundred bucks for it, maybe. 
Maybe. I might just tell him to go sell it to someone else. But then later in life, uh, I think Victor started making really great bikes. I think they look good, and I think they were reasonably priced. I think they had great power. They always had an edge. They always had an edge on Harley Davidson um, with, with, with just put, putting bigger engines in them. Like significantly bigger engines. And you gotta, you gotta like that. How can you not like that? They're putting big engines in a motorcycle. We're men. Most of us, some of us are men. And we like big engines. So it's a simple bike. You can't go wrong. I think Victory did a... I think their paint job was always high quality. Um, I think they did a lot of unique things. I, I like the way that they were starting. It's like they were, sometimes you look at a bike and you're like, oh, they're trying to look like a Harley Davidson. Uh, Victory was not that way. Victory was starting from a whole new thing. They're like, we want to make a whole new bike. We want to be our own thing. And, and they were very unique. You know, bikes like the Victory Vision. Just, you know, crazy looking style. Uh, I used to hate them, but then I rode one and I loved it. I loved those bikes. Now I see them and I get a little warm. I get all warm and fuzzy inside my soul. The clutches on the Victory is nice and light. Not like, not too light. That you don't, you know, you don't feel anything. But light enough that you don't, it's not gonna, it's, it's you don't notice it, you know. Now what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen to Victory in the future? You know, are they, uh, you know, every once in a while you hear rumors or not rumors, but like people saying, man, I hope they, hope they re-bring back Victory. I don't see that happening. It's not like, it's not like Indian where it keeps on getting, where the, the company starts up and then shuts down because they, whatever. It's not, it's not available to, it's not, I don't think, I don't think the name's available to buy. Polaris still owns it. Polaris still owns, they still own the Victory, the Victory brand. They just chose to focus their energy on Indian. So I'm not, so I, I would imagine that any cool, any cool innovative ideas that they would have had that maybe they could do with, with Victory, they're just gonna do that with Indian. Now, I feel like there might be some limitations. In the future, are you ever really gonna ride a, an Indian sport bike? I don't know. What's gonna happen with the values of these Victories? I think initially, it was interesting because I watched this really heavily. I saw, I saw when, in like 2018, when, when Victory kinda, said hey we're gonna stop making victories first of all i found out the same time the dealerships found out which is and that was from reading a newspaper article you know it was, was kind of crazy um initially these guys started getting scared they started dropping prices you saw an initial drop in price but then the prices came back up because what you started seeing was people were realizing they're like hold on a second if i want to buy if i want to buy a victory you telling me this is my only shot so then what started happening was people had like beautiful victory cross countries and beautiful victory visions and really cool colors at their later years victory was crushing it in the colors in the color game some of the coolest colors i've ever seen coming out of victory and then so what ended up happening was you had people who were like yeah i want to buy i want to i want to buy a victory in the next couple years i'm gonna buy a brand new victory i love that color and then the reality sunk in and it's like there's four of those in the country or in my side of the country and now there's three of them. You know what I mean? It's like I got to get this thing. And then at that point, people stopped uh, just. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to do a turn signal. People stopped just giving them away, and the demand started coming up. Now, depending on what, depending on what the bike is, it, it's it's kind of it's kind of up and down. If you actually look at victory prices, they're kind of all over the place. Some guy thinks it's a surplus. Other guy thinks it's a you know, he's selling for cheap. I think right now, if you're gonna buy a victory, I think you're gonna get it at a pretty good deal. In the future, 20, 20 years, 30 years down the road, I think it's gonna be one of those, uh, I think they are gonna go up in value. I think it's gonna be one of those things where, oh man, you got a victory, you know? And I think the really pristine ones, the really nice ones are gonna have some pretty big value. You know, just like the old, the old, old Indians that you find, the old 50s Indians, you know? All right guys, that wraps it up. We will see you guys later. It is 48 degrees and super windy and the M1 and Moto gloves have been awesome guys if you're ever wondering and you're like i want i'm looking at bikes but you don't know which one to get and you have your license you know how to ride maybe a good option is check out riders share ridersshare.com you can rent bikes uh it's like airbnb but for motorcycles or it's like toro instead of cars but for motorcycles you can rent your bike out or you can rent a bike from someone else really reasonable check that out we'll see you guys later remember it's not what you're riding but where are you going